Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in JavaScript and today we're going to be discussing arrays. Now what if you want to create a bunch of variables for an example but they they all kind of relate to each other so wouldn't creating a bunch of variables for them individually take up a lot of space in other words a lot of memory? It would. So there's kind of an alternative for this and it's well what arrays are for. So for an example what if you wanted to create a variable for each of the colors in the rainbow. Well, you don't want to just keep going var this, var that, var that. Instead, you can just type in var colors, and just like with any other type of object, you use the new keyword, followed by array. Then after this, you can type in colors, followed by brackets, instead of parentheses. Notice how it's parentheses up here, but brackets down here. Then you type in the element number, now the element numbers are just like index numbers when we were working with strings in the string object like zero was the first one so just like here with elements zero is the first one so you'll want to type in zero set that equal to and then let's make it a string so we'll say red and we can do the same thing for well, all the colors and just to save time I'll probably just do the first three so orange is next uh, yeah, see, I misspelled it. Sorry for the poor performance. I'm doing a whole bunch of videos today. I, I've been doing all the object videos after the creating your own ones today, after a few days of a break, so I'm kind of not into it right now. I'm so sorry about that. And it's no excuse. My, it's, it's really my bad. But, but hey, okay, we're going to want to do something else here we'll want to make the user be able to choose what color so let's create another variable I'll call it I don't know user or something like that I don't know is equal to prompt and I'll make the default value zero type in a number from zero to two and that's going to be a string so we we'll want to convert that so var user underscore conv I that's short for conversion that's what I use is equal to parse int and then inside there type in the variable you want to convert so that's user then I'll have document dot write and I'll make it write line for future sake and I'll type in well colors and because we want all the colors to show up and then brackets then inside the brackets is the number so we want to type in user conv because we want whatever number the person types in so if the person types in zero it will refer to colors zero which is red so I'll save and I'll refresh the page type in a number let's type in one. Oh, we get orange check that out because orange is element number one I refresh the page, I'll type in 2, and we get yellow. And let's just go with the red as well. There you go. And yeah, that's pretty much basics for creating your own array. There's also, you can also create array literals, which is pretty much the same same thing. It's just an alternative in creating them. So I'll create another array called var color. Now notice there's no S at the end, so it is a different, it will be a different array and it'll be new array or excuse me see I'm tired I'm, I'm all like uh, it's just brackets you don't even type in new array you just do this I kid you not you just do this and well what, what do I want our first to be the last was yellow so I'll go green yes I, I do like to go green then blue will be our second and our last will be purple so this this is this formats the same thing we didn't type in new array but it still works so green is now the element number zero for the color not colors uh, blue will be the one and purple will be the two so I want you to know that this is different from this because these are these are different right here so this is a separate array so I want to change the colors here to just color and let's see if it works so I'll refresh the page, I'll type in 1, and we get blue. 
gives blues the second element, which is element number one. We refresh the page, there's our green, and two, there's our purple. So that's um, an array literal, a different way of writing an array, but hey, it still works. You can also, there's a reason why I had a line here, because I want a space to appear for the next thing. There, you can also find the length of an array, and what that does is returns the number of elements that you have. So we have three elements in both of these, but but let's see if it works. So I'll type in, I'll just type in color dot length. So let's see what happens. Let's see if three pops up. Three, there it is. Three elements in your array. So it does work. So you can find the length. And uh, just like before with character counting, length is very um, helpful for loops to make sure you don't have infinite loops or if they end up crashing because you reached an element that doesn't exist you can always find the length of an array so like if you have a loop for an example you only go through as many times as there are elements and you never spill over for an example so uh, I, I, I don't really have a lot of examples for that kind of stuff for JavaScript but I will um, by the time I start uploading these videos, like if you're watching this now, I should already have a whole bunch of C++ done. So if you want to see some cool, um, much better examples of loops and whatnot, C Sharp .net, I should, VB.net. A lot of the programming, excuse me, a lot of the programming language, um, the heart, the, the programming kind of stuff, not as much this. I'm sorry, it's, it's a, I, I never really use this kind of stuff for web development as much as I do for um, application development, I guess you could call it. But yeah, so the next thing I'd like to go over would be multi-dimensional arrays, and this should be the last thing before we do image arrays. Now, image arrays will be the next video, so it should be another short quickie like this one. So let's create an array here called var atom is equal to new array. Now this video might actually be a few minutes longer but that's only because I'm going to be filling in a bunch of information here. So if you're watching this and it, it's like 13 minutes or something, it's not that much. I'm just spending a lot of time writing things out. So what are some elements of mine? My, we have my height. So you can make that a new array. Oh yeah, and before we were only working in one dimension. We only had one dimensional arrays. I'll show you multi-dimension. This would be a two-dimensional array here. So we have my height we have my weight oh no semicolon what did I do here I didn't whoops and my rank that's just for giggles okay so I, I could throw in my height elements directly into the array but I'll just do it outside just so it's more clear so height zero let's say that's what my height was in middle school I'll make that an actual number I was I don't know 410 or 48 no I was 48 I was short tiny so what is that 56 inches my height in high school my for most of the time was about 57 and yeah I had a pretty lucky growth spurt and I'm not even done yet. I'm still growing, so it's pretty awesome. And post high school, I would say 5'11". That's what I am now. I'm still growing, so I'm really lucky. Um, late bloomer, I was. My weight. And if you have any doubts about that, I'm a pretty slim person. I can eat the world, and I'm still skinny. So 65 pounds at that point. And about 110 at that point. I was still quite slim. And then now at 5'11", I'm like 130. Yeah, pretty pretty slim. And let's check out my rank. Uh, what was my rank when I was in middle school? I was I was awesome. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I was awesome. There's you guys can't complain about that. I mean, come on. High school, even more awesome. I mean, nobody can deny that. I mean, come on. 
what's my rank now? Ah, oh, I mistyped again, didn't I? You know what? Uh, it's about time. All that gloating, and I start all these typos. See, my typos now doesn't affect what I was in the past. But my typos make it very clear about what I am today. Ugh. See, look at this. Like, three minutes passed since I started typing all this. And I haven't really done anything. Okay, so I have all these three different arrays. My height, rank, weight. And now I want to use them in this or this array, my atom array. So they'll be in there. So I'm going to refer to my first element in there. And what you want to do is use brackets. You don't want to use parentheses, otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to type in this one. My Adam, as he was in middle school, or yeah, middle school, I'll use all my the, the values I have for middle school. So all these zeros and my rank. So that's pretty cool. And we need to actually write this. So document dot write. and Adam zero so I'll save and let's see if this works oh no I didn't Did I mess up on some oh wait a minute see I probably misspelled something oh these are curly braces oh what the heck See, I'm clearly not... My brain is not sharp right now. There it is. Oh, come on. Where's my 110? Height, weight. My weight, zero. Oh, I typed in height on all of these. Look at this. This is... Oh, my gosh. I am so tired. I am so not sharp right now. I have my goodness. You know what? There it is. Okay, you know what? You know what? I I clearly, just just for the sake of time, you know you know what? No, I, I was I was awesome then. I'll just put in for my rank here. I'll just throw in a two. See what I am today. Clearly, my goodness. Anyways, that's a multi-dimensional array. That's having arrays within an array. So this is a two-dimensional array, and you can have even more if you want. So you can have arrays within arrays within in an array it, it i mean but really when you start doing that you're you're going too far i'm sorry you're going too far you start doing that and you're going to get confused about where things are you think back in xhtml figure out which table table column was part of which table row was difficult it took me a few seconds to figure it out myself uh that this that would just be really hard to remember where everything is so don't do that unless unless your boss tells you or your teacher just don't but yeah this this is a multi-dimensional right here and it it works there you go that's middle middle and now I'm horrible all right and um, I hope this tutorial was useful and well I'll see you next time hopefully I'll be rested by then